corrections officer to actor and now fighter. Tonight, Scott Light has the story of Shannon the Cannon. <laughs> so what did this graphic design major like about his pit fighting days in Mexico in the early 90s? I like the $500 that I was making because I was in college at the time. These days, the money's a lot better, and Shannon the Cannon has a place in MMA history. There's only three guys in the world that have 100 wins. I'm one of them. But his road to championship belts and being called the Iron Man of the MMA actually started in school. I was 85 pounds as a freshman. I was the smallest kid in school. You got picked on? Oh, man, I got picked on immensely. I totally got bullied growing up, yeah. Is that why you became a fighter? It's uh, a big reason why I became a fighter. <laughs> he went on to wrestle in high school and learned the martial arts. Today's MMA stars can earn big money, but back in the 90s and early 2000s, even as a champion, Shannon still had to work. He's been in the U.S. Army, a corrections officer, and a high-profile bodyguard in Iraq. I was one of the lucky few who got picked to be a bodyguard for United States Ambassador John Negroponte. And he's also done some acting. CSI Las Vegas, Numbers, Walker, Texas Ranger, back when that was show was going on. Shannon's now 42, and after 20 years of training, fighting, and broken bones... I am sore every day. His MMA career is winding down, but he's going out in a big way. He was chosen to captain Team USA in the largest MMA competition happening this weekend in Britain. You know, I can pick fighters from all over, but what I did is I picked local fighters from Arizona, and uh, we're going to go represent the United States, but also represent Arizona. And maybe proof here that life is one big circle... This graphic arts major finally applied his talents to his car. But more importantly, this tough guy who was picked on in school now goes back to school with a message to kids who are getting bullied. Tell your mom, your dad, the principal, and the bully that, hey, this is not all right. I'm being picked on. I'm not going to take it. And uh, it's not tattling. What it is, it's just saving your life and or somebody else's life. But Shannon and those other two Arizona fighters leave for London tomorrow. Competitions this weekend. Good luck, Shannon, if you're watching. Also, you'll see Shannon on the new military reality show, Ultimate Soldier Challenge, coming up on the History Channel. Mm. Well, there.